All right, y'all, TikTok did it to me again. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. I made a video on how to make a Swiss roll cake. You know, like the little Debbie Swiss rolls you buy in the store. And I found a recipe to make it. I've only made it one other time. It's been a couple years. And what I can recall, it was delicious. Um, so anyways, I made the video a while ago of how to make the cake, how to make the filling, had it on pause, letting everything cool down so I could put my um, coating on the top. It's gone. I looked in my drafts, I looked everywhere. I don't know where it's at. So let's start all over. First thing I did was I preheated my oven to 350. I got me a nine by 13 casserole dish and I sprayed it real good with Pam. Yeah, I used Pam. Then I got me a boxed cake mix. I used Duncan Hines dark chocolate fudge because that is my favorite chocolate cake mix. I did the instructions as the box said. I baked it on 350 for 23 minutes. It come out looking like this. I let it cool completely. Then I made a second layer. This is three layers total. The second layer is the filling and it's one block of room temperature cream cheese and a half a cup of powdered sugar. You mix that real well with two tablespoons of milk. Once it's all incorporated and your cream cheese does not have no chunks in it when it's smooth, you add you one container, one small container of Cool Whip. You beat that for a minute and it comes out looking like this. It looks like marshmallow cream to be completely honest and it smells great. And of course I've already tasted it and it's great. So what I'm gonna do, since my cake mix is cooled, I'm gonna put my second layer of the filling on top of the cake mix and I'm gonna spread it out really good. I hope everybody's having a great day. Today has kind of tried my nerves a little bit, but I'm okay because I know I have this and God has this. So I'm good. I gotta keep telling myself that anyways. Man, this is like full to the rim top with this topping. Wow. I hope the third layer, the ganache you make, doesn't seep off the edges. See? Looks good so far, right? For the third layer, so simple, you take one and a half cups of chocolate chip. What I did was I used one cup of milk chocolate. I'll show you. Hershey's milk chocolate. I had this left from the other day. I had a half a bag left, which is a cup. Eh, it's probably half a cup because we use some for pancakes. So I finished this bag, which is a half a cup of milk chocolate. And then I used one cup of semi-sweet chocolate. To that, I put it in the bowl to five, five tablespoons of real butter. And you melt it. And it comes out looking like this, the silky goodness. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dollop it on top of my cake like so, all across it. It smells good. I hope I get some of this on my fingers so I can lick it. I, like I, like y'all know, I love sweets and I really love chocolate. And I hope this cake turns out really good. I hope, I hope the family likes it. My kids just got home, my phone's going off. They'll probably walk in and go, mom's recording again. Shut up, be quiet. All right. I've got this on top of my cake and I'm gently gonna move it around. It's gonna be a hot mess probably. Got the TV on with the uh, music on in the background. MTV, yeah, it's MTV. It's got um, 80s and 90s rock legends on right now. And of course, I grew up in that era and that's my favorite music and I had to have it on. I think ACDC's on right now. So if you hear it and you're an 80, 90 baby, I'm gonna power to you. All right, I'm gonna swirl it one more time just to make sure I get it coated right. It is, it is gonna seep off the edges. Look, I got that finger lick, y'all. All right, that's all I'm gonna do. So this is what it looks like with your topping. Again, this is Swiss roll cake. I'm gonna put this back in the refrigerator and let it set for a couple hours until we get done with supper tonight. Super easy to make. If you want the recipe, you let me know. Again, it's a nine by 13 pan, just a regular chocolate cake mix is on the bottom. You bake it to, to the instructions on the back of the box. Then you have your second layer, which is one block of cream cheese, one and a half cups of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of milk, and one container of um, Cool Whip. 
Mix that really good, good to the consistency of marshmallow cream, basically. And once your cake is cool, you put that on top of that layer. Then the third layer is one and a half cups of chocolate chips to five tablespoons of butter. Melt it in your microwave for a minute. Whip it really good to where it's shiny. Put it on top of your cake, let it cool and eat it and enjoy and keep it in the fridge. So up next, fried taters. So y'all get ready and get them stretch pants on because we're gonna fry up some oven chicken and some fried taters to go with that macaroni and cheese. Love you.